And speaking of amazing network, um, we are going to uh, now move over to um, WordPress, uh, Matthias, and the WordPress uh, Activity Pub uh, plugin, which of course is um, rather interesting because WordPress, as it claims itself, is on 40 something percent of the internet uh, websites. And, um, and uh, there is a lot of potential to uh, get broader adoption through Activity, um, th uh, through WordPress uh, of the Activity Pub network. And Matthias um, just joined um, WordPress and um, take it from here. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> so <laughs> I will try to share my screen because it's the first time I use uh, Zoom on this laptop. Can you see my browser? Yes, you can. So um, I just recently not joined WordPress, but Automatic, the company of the WordPress founder. That's uh, a little difference. Um, yeah, um, my name is Matthias. I'm from Germany. Um, I started uh, working on the ActivityPub plugin, um, I think, five years ago um, with uh, yeah limited adoption. Um, back in the days, but uh, the whole Twitter thing lately um, gave the plugin a bit of fame. So I will show you around a bit. Um, that's the plugin. It can be installed like you install a plugin. Uh, simply go to your um, WordPress, uh, add new plugin, uh, search for Activity Pub. Click uh, install and activate, and that's basically it. Then you can start uh, publishing like you always do, and other um, people can follow you. So um, I will show you the settings anyways. So if you visit the settings screen, you will see some kind of a simple onboarding process where you uh, find your um, handles on your blog, the web, man uh, the web finger, styled uh, identifier and the activity pub like uh, URL and you um, get some recommendations of plugins that extends the um, activity pub plugin a bit but um, you can um, you can stick with activity activity pub Th this is only for let's say advanced users or power users um, to the settings, you will be able to um, customize what um, you will send to the Fediverse. That's um, done because the different servers work differently. Um, Mastodon is really stripping the whole spec down by a lot. Um, with only supporting the node activity object. If you choose something else, it will be stripped down to a, a title and a link. So I thought it might be good to, to have some kind of uh, customization possibilities. Um, and you can choose what kind of type, uh, object type will be shared. And um, yeah. Um, to find your followers, you go to your following screen and you see um, all your fol followers in a really nice way. I hope I can improve that over time. Yeah, um, let's try to um, make some live demo because what could possibly go wrong? Um, so to follow your blog on Mastodon, it's, you can, copy your handle, go to Mastodon, search for the handle, and then follow um, the blog. It's uh, very similar to um, the micro dot blog thing. Um, and the presentation is um, also very similar. I try to use as much as possible from the core WordPress thing. So the bio you um, use in your uh, WordPress settings will be used for the, the profile. And um, yeah, so in the posting UI, there's really no real difference. So let's give it a, li um, a live demo. 
I'm simply publishing it. So there you see the new blog post and you go back to your, yeah. Nice, <laughs> it worked. So yeah, you um, instantly see um, the, the post you sent and um, this one is a, a very simple, um, normal post that will be shared with um, all your followers, but you can also um, mention people. So I try to mention the Fetty Forum, which is not following my blog. And Johannes, which is also not following my blog. This is formatted. Hmm. Let's give it a try. So if you publish that, then hopefully um, Johannes will get uh, a mention and maybe Johannes can write an answer to that um, post because answers will also be shared with the blog. So far it hasn't shown up, but we believe you. Oh. So I um, simply um, answered on the um, post I did, um, and you see instantly that you get um, the answer in the comment section. It will be held for approval so that you can um, check for spam or other stuff, and then you will see it simply in the comment section. Um, there's no Excellent. possibility at the moment to write back because it's a bit tricky. Um, because it's a WordPress blog, you can comment via the comment form. So it's that part is a bit tricky and I'm not sure how to do it at the moment, but at least it's um, publishing on the blog shared with the Fediverse and reactions from the Fediverse will, will be shared back uh, to the blog. That's the excellent state. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there have been, we have a, a few minutes that we can, before we have to go into agenda making. And I noticed that there were a, a few questions in the chat already. Um, I think, um, uh, Matthias, for you, uh, let me pick uh, something here. Um, does the uh, does the plugin essentially function like a single user Mastodon Fediverse server? And secondly, is there anything you can say about whether that plugin will become part of a standard install uh, for, uh, for WordPress? Um, that may be too early to tell. It is a single installation. It is kind of both. Um, every user on a blog has its own identifier. So if you are the single user on the blog, then yes. Um, otherwise, um, if you have, a, let's say, um, an ind independent news publisher site, every author on this blog will have its own identifier and can be followed. Um, I think it will not be part of the WordPress core in the near future because it's it's a really complicated thing. thing and I think... Um, at least in the in the in the early stages of activity pub uh, um we have to change a lot uh, based on how the different platforms implement stuff we talked about that yesterday so i'm not sure it's this mature to have it in core yet but i think the plan is to have some kind of a um canonical plugin thing that means 
a plugin that will be supported by the WordPress community and will be pushed and um, yeah, there's a, some kind of a guarantee um, life cycle thing. So I think that's the, the short term solution. Sounds good. Uh, is there, um, we can take maybe one or two questions for the other presenters. Um, there is a lot of things in the chat, but I wasn't quite able to root, uh, read through all of this. Does anybody have a really good question for one of the other presenters? Um, one question if um, for Flipboard, I think it already does um, verification of users, right? Is that's a feature that's there now, I believe. And are there any other new features like in the pipeline that you could describe? Yes, uh, Tim, that that is available now. Um, and uh, there's some, uh, I posted some, uh, you know, a, a description of how to verify your Flipboard account on Mastodon. Um, and then in terms of new things, uh, we are, you know, working to integrate activity pub at the center of our back end. exactly how that works. You know, all of those things are still things we're sorting out like Matthias, you know, as you, as you pointed out with WordPress. And of course, I think it needs to be done in collaboration with the overall community and with other, you know, instance owners and app builders. So, uh, we're really excited about that. And what we're hoping to do is try to find some like clear, discrete steps that we can take along the way, um, that help us kind of, you know, explore this, um, similar to what Matthias was talking about with, with, you know, the plugin, um, and uh, I'm very excited. I think, you know, what we want to try to do is bring some of our curation capabilities. If you think about like, what does Flipboard bring to the Fediverse? It's all, we are all about curation, human and algorithmic curation, and the way to sort of allow people to go deep on their interests with all kinds of content coming from all sorts of different sources. So, you know, I hope that you'll see from us in, you know, every six weeks or so, some, you know, major step in that direction over the coming months. Thanks, Mike. Um, thanks, Tim, for the question. One more we can do, and then I hand it back to uh, Kalia for agenda creation. No. Well, you know, we certainly have uh, plenty of opportunity to uh, corner each other uh, in, the, in the sessions uh, uh, later today and in the hallways. So thanks ver again very much to all the people who have demonstrated. Um, this is an incredible breadth and uh, an incredible amount of work you have all done. And I think it's so great that the Fediverse is built by so many people uh, collaboratively. Um, imagine what we can do together.